Hey guys, Jan here in the Northview Mall Shop, and here we are. We have completed the construction up to the railings, we'll get to that later, of our Type 21 U-Boat. Um, fits and finish really, really great, guys. This, as you know, this is the Revelle of Germany sub. Uh, everything fit really well. The two hull halves came together very, very nicely. Barely any seam issues at all. Um, the decking is separate pieces. There's uh, two pieces for the decking, cut right in the middle, that flow through here. Um, I had a little bit of fit issues, and uh, as you guys remember, when we were at the Bible Hill Show, we purchased this kit, and I was assembling it there, so I was kind of fiddling around with it, and I had a little bit of fit issue up in here, where I didn't quite get it down in time, or I thought I had it down, had it taped off, end up going to do the award ceremonies, and when I got home, I realized that this was actually up and out, and it cured and dried in that position. So little bit of filing um, we had a little bit of gap issues in some spots we used our acrylic Vallejo putty um, there was a little gap uh, up in this end here which uh, needed to be filled and there's a couple little bits and pieces just on the top that were a little bit problematic uh, a little bit of filing down in here because this is actually the piece comes down and then kind of dips like a like a dovetail if you will to fit in there and it fits nice and clean but it had a little bit of filing need to be done. Um, installing these uh, the rear uh, fins here, um, they had call out to put on the little tabs. There was some fitting there, and that was just because really, guys, when I glued them on at the model show, I didn't have my uh, my good saw block to make a square 90 degree sand. So, not blaming the kit. Um, and when I f actually the root, I guess you'd call it the wing root here, um, really fit beautifully perfectly tight all I had was up in the front a little bit was a little bit of sanding in there so not that bad even the coning tower guys fit it's made up of about four pieces I believe um, to put it all together and it went together really really nice even these long pieces for the uh, periscopes and all that jazz really were really nice to put together so really impressed uh, the guns I actually put in a solid position there actually comes like a poly cap almost that you install on the bottom you're not supposed to glue them in the position, but I didn't see the point in that. And it actually is kind of neat. These front planes here, um, it actually, you build up a mechanism that they'll actually slide so they'll close and open. Um, I got it all together and dabbed one little bit of glue to kind of stir up a joint. And when I did, my glue kind of went everywhere and, and locked the planes in position. It doesn't hurt my feelings. But uh, all in all, guys, I'm really, really impressed with this Revell of Germany kit, how well it went together. Um, just impressed having a blast so guys tune into the next video we're going to talk about some railings that call out to be uh, made uh, and we're gonna go a little bit further with some special stuff so guys tune in for that one alright guys thanks for tuning in guys if you're not already head over to if you've got Facebook if you will head over to the Northview model shop group page and join in in the fun posting uh, posting videos uh, posting your um, your builds, uh, progress, all that stuff, model shows. We just love to share and learn about what everybody's doing. And if you're a member of the Northview Model Shop Facebook group, you get to catch myself and Drew, the unapologetic modeler, every Thursday night at 7 Eastern, 8 Atlantic Standard Time, where we do an hour-long uh, podcast, if you will, talking about models, building, having fun. Guys, it's a blast. We'd love to have you. So check out Facebook and the North View Model Shop.